over here, Ignition, new venue, new team, new bells to win. I've never been at that venue before. I've never like looked out into see where the crowd's gonna be, um, just get a feel for the ropes, and um, just have a little bit of a, a walkthrough of how I'm gonna feel. I have a bit of a visualization of looking across the ring at your opponent, just so that when that moment comes, it's not brand new. It's like I've been there just a minute ago, and um, you know, it makes it that little bit easier. It's not like foreign territory, I'm just at home, comfortable, you know? When I first started training, I was part of a really small club that didn't really have a lot of people fight. Like pretty much always just myself fighting and only myself training. Then when I came to Champions and there was a, a big group of us and we'd all be fighting, I absolutely love it because you can bounce off each other. Days we come in, you're a bit flat. You sort of get some energy from them. It's been some really fun times when you're going through something that's usually a little bit uncomfortable. And um, yeah, I, I really love that. I think it's the best. Here is the winner out of the red corner, Johnny Kelleher! Yeah, that was good. It was um, it was a stronger clincher. Like I, I thought he wasn't going to be as strong in the clinch, but his clinch game was good, so I knew. So we knew to stay away from his clinch, and uh, he was getting me with some knees, but uh, I had to make sure I paid it back harder. So I was outstriped him, but I guess he gasped before I did. Cardio is massive when it comes to this, so next time, next fight, I'm going to be much more fitter than, than, than I was then. It's only going to keep getting better from here on, and I can't wait for my next one. Here is your winner and 51 kilo ISKA state champion out of the red corner, Fantastic, outstanding. So did is exactly what she was supposed to do. It was really good. It was fucking amazing. Yeah. Yeah. She did very well. Great combos. Boom. Very impressive. And especially when that girl had lots of height too. So Whit was getting right in there up in her face. So I loved it. Very excited. I like to visualize quite a lot before my fight, especially in that last couple of moments when sometimes your nerves can really kind of get away from you. Just kind of try and sit, bring it all in, um, just think about like the things we practiced in training and um, what the game plan is and how I'm going to execute it, what it feels like to execute it, what it looks like. Um, I sometimes try and visualize maybe like what are some of the things that could go wrong and just anticipate that feeling so that if something does go wrong, um, you're just mentally flexible enough to kind of deal with it and juggle it and just move on from there. Because it's never going to just be smooth sailing, so kind of anticipate those uh, bumps in the road, I guess.
ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. And the ISKA 72.5 Kilo Australian Champion, Chris Applause! Got a TKO win in the first round, sort of due to slightly unfortunate circumstance where I caught his leg and swept him and he landed awkwardly on his elbow and dislocated his elbow, um, which is obviously a bit of a shame, but I'm happy to come away with W and unfortunately these things just happen when you fight and it's just kind of the way it is, unfortunately. That's a big hey, You come out of the fight, you have no cut Yeah, you ready for the next one? It's kind of cool and reassuring. Um, seeing all the people who have come to support you, I guess I, I feel feelings of um, you know wanting to do them proud and um, just wanting to do a really good job for everyone that's, I guess, you know paid all that money and sacrificed their afternoon or their evening or whole day sometimes to um, come and support you.